What's going on everyday people? I'm Chad Everyday and today I want to talk to you about a $30 wireless lavalier style microphone that you could potentially use for your YouTube videos. Stay tuned for today's episode. So being a YouTuber, two of the most important things other than HD video is my lighting setup and also my audio setup. Now, for those of you that are familiar with my channel, you'll know that I use the Blue Yeti microphone probably 95% of the time that I'm recording videos, and then the other maybe 5 to 10% of the time I'm using my Rode VideoMic Pro, and that's kind of when I'm out on the go doing different stuff. But one thing I do like to talk about on this channel is affordable audio and video and other types of options to help you with your filmmaking needs. Now, if you're in the market to upgrade your microphone or get your first mic, could this $30 mic from Five Fine Technologies be the one for you? Well, I wanna talk about my overall impressions of the mic and kind of the pros and the cons that I see with it, and then I'm gonna to suggest to you whether or not I think you should buy it or just kind of save up some money and get another microphone. The ease of use for this mic is pretty simple and straightforward. Two pieces, you get your actual receiver, which you plug into a device. Now what's cool about this is it uses a quarter inch jack, so you can plug this straight into a mixer, a guitar amp, or anything of that sort. But also, they do send you this little adapter here where you can plug this into headphone jacks, in which case I'm plugged into my uh, Zoom H1 Handy Recorder. Now, if you don't have a field recorder, you could possibly plug into, say, your camera and get that kind of set up. But I don't recommend that because of testing that I Preamp inside of cameras is really not that great. So ideally, unless you have some kind of preamp or mixer to plug into the camera first, I wouldn't recommend plugging this mic directly in. Now the other piece that this microphone does come with is this adapter here. This is the transmitter, and it's all very super simple and easy to work. Essentially, you have two buttons on this. You have your on-off switch, as well as you can set different frequencies to set up with this. I haven't really messed with mine, and it all works great straight out of the box. Now the way this this particular piece works. It works off of two AA batteries, which do not come with this kit. And then the receiver works off of two AAA batteries, which also is not included in the kit. I would say that was probably my first con, is not having the batteries included, which isn't a huge deal because batteries are easy to get and they're super cheap. But for me personally, I don't keep AAA batteries just lying around the house because virtually I have nothing that works off of AAA batteries except for this particular microphone. Moving on to the build quality, this is made out of plastic, but it is pretty durable from what I've noticed it's pretty well constructed, especially for something that only costs $30 and is giving you wireless capabilities. So basically this is the whole setup that you see on me right here. It does come with another microphone, which personally I think has better quality than this one, because I'll show you this lavalier microphone here. You know, from this point, it sounds you know, kind of okay, but not the greatest. But if I was to move the mic and then begin talking right here, you'll notice the audio sounds a little bit fuller, a little bit richer and a lot better. And that's something that I wish the quality sounded like when the mic was down here in the position you would normally be talking. So really quickly, here is the raw audio for how the microphone sounds. Again, I don't think the raw audio is that great here. I've noticed with me and my setup, it picks up a lot of white noise and, you know, when I'm editing my videos and stuff, I want a mic that's super dependable where I don't have to do a ton of editing and processing to it. In fact, when I have my Yeti set up or my Rode set up, I already have presets which I can just apply to a clip, whether I'm in a controlled environment like my studio space here or I'm out and about on the go. I haven't yet found a setup that I like with the Fifine enough yet that I would consider it to be a mic that I would replace my Yeti or anything like that. But this mic isn't about replacing things. This is about being one of your first ever mics that you need to get to make higher quality videos than say using your internal camera mic or if you just want to have that wireless capability so you can move around. Now with that being said, this might work great for documentaries or interviews or things 
things like that, especially being a secondary mic if you've already made a big purchase once and you're just looking for a less expensive mic to add to your collection. Overall, I think the mic's pretty great, especially for the price point of about 30 bucks. And if this is something you would like to jump into after hearing, you know, kind of my pros and cons and things like that, there will be a link in the description box below provided by uh, Fifine to actually make one of these purchases. And I believe they've actually provided a link where you save a few dollars here or there. It also qualifies for free Amazon shipping if you're a Prime member, so that's a perk an added bonus there. I was really excited because I got mine when like two days, didn't pay any extra, and I got to try this thing out over the weekend. Now me personally, would I be using this mic to replace anything? No, but would I use this mic in certain situations? Probably yes. It's definitely a mic that I'm gonna keep lying around, and as I kinda get to test it and play with it a little bit more, I might find that I can get better audio quality. Now if you do wanna search YouTube, there's tons of channels out there that are reviewing this particular mic and other Five Fine mics. And some of them have a little bit better audio editing capabilities than I do, and they made their quality sound even better. So that might be something to consider as well. If you know a little bit more about audio editing and processing, then you could probably get better results out of the mic than I did. If you do have any questions about the microphone, be sure to leave those in the comments section below. Leave a like on today's video if this video maybe helped you out or gave you some insight on microphones that are out there. Subscribe to this channel if you'd like to see more content like this. And as always, be sure to create something new today.